Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about exported activities and how to exploit them. The first thing you're going to want to do is decompile your target application and search for exported activities in androidmanifest.xml. As you can see here in this example, I have an exported activity called flag12 exported activity. I'm going to copy that class name or that activity name and analyze the source code. This is one of the reasons why analyzing or source code review is so important because now I'm going to look for intents that read in variables such as totally secure. So this ha all happens in the onCreate method and I would like to note that this method is executed right when this activity starts. So it's one of the easy, easier methods to exploit. So we can see that the intent is being converted into a URI here. It's reading in totally secure in multiple spots. So in other source code, you know, this might just look like a hard coded value. And this is actually a value, this is a variable attached to data. And I'm going to show you how to exploit that. There is some logic in this activity. If this intent doesn't exist, then the request just won't work. I like to think as intents as, as a request. There's a Boolean that shows that only HTTPS is accepted which can lead to open redirects as long as you have, as you have HTTPS protocol. Next, as you can see at this big highlighted area is saying that set JavaScript enabled can lead to XSS vulnerabilities, which is a fact in this case. So now let's exploit this application. I'm going to start the VM and have my terminal terminal ready. Okay, now the VM started. This is the ADB shell example. So the dash n flag provides the application name and full path to the Android activity that it is vulnerable. And dash e flag is um, the variable name that is required and the data that is supplied for that variable. As you can see, that was successful, meaning that an open redirect vulnerability exists and I can redirect um, users anywhere I want. Now, as far as XSS goes, it's easier to use a POC application than in the bash terminal. So I made a POC application or proof of concept. Now, I'm gonna, I'll walk you through what exactly is happening here. Um, an intent is being made, then I set the intent to use the application that has the exported activity. Now I'm putting the data that I want to provide in right. I'm reading it, reading it in right here. So totally secure is going to equal this JavaScript payload. And lastly, I'm sending the intent to the vulnerable application. Now if I start it, you can see it was successful. So that is how you exploit open redirects and XSS in Android applications. Thank you for watching. I will go over exported activities more during my talk at VersetCon 2020. I'm super stoked. Until next time.